Many of us visit Woodlands every year and have a wonderful time. But if you are using Woodlands regularly, it's important that you know there are a few plants that can cause harm. Some might be poisonous, but some people can have an allergic reaction to any plant. This can include hay fever, stinging nettle rash or serious reactions. It's important to identify and learn about the plants on your site so you're aware of any potential risks they might present. Follow these simple measures to reduce the risk of any harm. Firstly, picking leaves or other parts of plants can release sap onto our hands and skin and it can also damage the plant. It's best practice not to pick plants and to leave no trace on your woodland visit. Secondly, keep arms and legs covered to reduce the chance of plants brushing against bare skin. Thirdly, explore with your eyes and not your mouths. Talk to your group about not putting their hands near their faces and provide hand washing facilities where appropriate. It can be both exciting and daunting to learn about the plants on your site through the seasons. As a general rule, fungi are the most difficult to identify and are best left alone. Another group is the Umbellifer family. This includes one particular plant to be aware of, the giant hogweed. It's typically found near the water, but is increasingly appearing in rough ground at the edges of parks and playing fields. Again, it's best practice to avoid this family of plants. Berries contain seeds, which are an important part of the ecosystem and are a valuable food source for many animals. Although brightly coloured and tempting to pick and eat, only do so if you're 100% sure of what they are and leave plenty for the wildlife. Please remember this video is a rough guide to get you started. To develop your knowledge and build an understanding of the plants in your area, it's recommended to contact a specialist or attend training on topics such as plant identification or foraging. Check out www.rfs.org.uk forward slash F-E-N-E for more free resources and ideas.